This is a quick review about molarity, things that we talked about in class. So we want to go over the idea of concentration, and the units we're going to use for concentration is called molarity, which is moles per liter. As we work out problems, we're going to use our molarity triangle and show our work using AISA. So here on the picture, we have a nice picture of things that go from dilute to very concentrated, and that gives an idea of how concentrated things is, and we could do that with molarity. Now, concentration is important idea. Still talking about uh, the first little cup here it just has a little bit of solute in the solvent and going up and more and more concentrated where we have lots and lots of solute dissolved in there. We want to go through and say, well, let's quantify that somehow. So we can do that with this idea of molarity. And molarity is simply the number of moles of solute dissolved per liter of solution. We're going to use this formula, like we've done other things. We're going to say N is the number of moles. We say V is volume in liters. And M is molarity. And molarity, the symbol for that is M underlined. So we can use our molarity triangle, like we did with the density triangle. And we can get uh, different kinds of equations out of this. For example, if we say I want molarity then molarity equals the number of moles divided by the number of liters. If we wanted to do uh, number of moles, the number of moles here would be molarity times volume. And finally, if we were trying to go for volume, then we can say volume is the number of moles divided by the molarity. So let's do our three examples that we had on our note sheet. And as we do this, we're going to try to follow AISA. And remember, AISA is identify your variables, then write the equation, substitute in your values, and then just write down the answer. So first one here, find the molarity if 0.25 moles of calcium chloride is dissolved to prepare a 1.20 liter solution. So we can say that N is 0 0.25 moles and we have the 1.20 liters and that's a volume. So the only thing we have left over here is molarity. So molarity is what we're looking for. Next thing was decide what is our uh, equation. So if we have molarity then molarity equals the number of moles over the volume. So that's our, we've identified the variables, we've written our equation. Now we're going to substitute in our values. 0 0.25 moles divided 1.20 liters. And then we calculate, we find out that that comes out to be 0 0.208. And the answer would be molar. So the molarity symbol is our variable and it's also our end or our unit. So we say we have a 0 0.208 molar solution. Let's try our second equation. Find the volume. So we know that we're looking for volume of a 0 0.3 molar solution. So we know molarity. Uh, and 0 0.72 moles are involved. 0 0.72 moles. So this time we're looking for our volume. So the equation is volume. We're looking for volume. So it's going to be number of moles divided by molarity. We substitute in our values. 0.72 moles and 0 0.30 molar. And then we get our final answer which is 2.4 liters. Since we have volume, we know the volume is in liters. Okay, our third equation. Find the mass of NaCl needed to prepare 2.5 liters of a 0.15 molar solution. So, we know that we have a volume, which is 2.50 liters. 
and we have a molarity which is 0 0.15 molar so the only variable we have left is the number of moles that's what we're going to be able to calculate but that's not what we're asking for we're asking for the mass so we have to think back we can go from grams to moles and moles to grams if we have the molar mass of NaCl our compound so remember that Na is 22.99 grams per mole and chlorine is 35.45 so we have a conversion factor that one mole of NaCl has a mass of 58.48 grams and we just got that by adding these two numbers together Na and Cl so let's go back and solve our problem we have our number of moles so if we want number of moles then we're going to use the molarity times the volume that's our equation we're going to substitute in so the molarity is 0 0.15 molar times 2.50 liters and that comes out to be 0 0.375 moles now that number is not the answer we want because we really want mass and mass we know is grams because so we're going to use our conversion factor we're going to say 0 0.375 moles times one mole of NaCl is 58.48 grams of NaCl and our final answer 21.93 or we'll just say 21.9 grams of NaCl so that is our final answer for this problem and it gives you examples of ones you can use for the problems on the worksheet I'll leave you with this cartoon